All right, welcome to Bubble Texas Moto Vlogs. Uh, today we're doing a product review of the Schumacher SL161 Lithium Ion Multifunction Jump Starter and Mobile Power Unit. Uh, as you can see, I decorated mine with the Bucky's sticker from Bucky's here in San Antonio. Well, more, more of New Braunfels, but. So this is a jump starter pack and mobile charging device. Um, I had one before, don't know what happened to it. And so I ended up buying another one because I liked it so much. I use this to jump start my motorcycle after my motorcycle sat for quite a while where it has been charged or anything, especially here at the apartments, it's hard to leave my motorcycle on a trick or tr trickle charger. But um, so this comes in handy. I can jump start it right over to my parents' house, throw the motorcycle and the trickle charger while I'm there, and it works really well. Um, this is the EC5, I think it's called. Uh, let's double check that. I know it's all somewhere. Yeah, EC5 connector. All right, so it doesn't use standard connector like what your um, battery tender trickle charger will use. This one's a little bit thicker. That's what the connector looks like there. I originally bought this at Walmart during the holidays when I see it. They have the little uh, PDQs in the middle of the aisle with um, their holiday items. This is one of the holiday items. It's about 36 bucks when I got it. Um, they no longer carry it on Amazon, which is where I ordered this one from after I lost my first one. I think I still paid around the same price. But the newer version is the SL65. They both look exactly the same. Um, kind of right there, the connector for the uh, cables is a little different. They're both 8,000 mAh uh, batteries. Looks like it still has the standard uh, USB plugins. You have one that is for a phone, one is for a tablet. The phone is 5 volt, 1 amp. The tablet is 5 volt, 2.1 amp. And then you have the input charging uh, spot, 5 volt, 2 amp. Um, charger, same micro USB as you do with the standard. Uh, Android phones, uh, tablets, and whatnot. You have the side switch here. Turns it on 100%. Uh, they do recommend that you drain the battery down to 85% before you charge it or after every use. It is best since it's a lithium battery that you charge it once a month. So whether you like drain it down to 85 and charge it, so mine's charge the 16th of every month. Easy way to do that is just use the charge your phone if you don't use it. You push and hold the power button here. You do have a light that comes on that comes in handy really well. Um, I keep this in my saddlebag so I'm not stuck anywhere if I ever need it. Um, it is rated for V6 motors, I4 motors, uh, my dad did use his on a V8 motor. His truck was dead, and he already knew that it wasn't rated for a V6 motor, and, but he gave it a shot, and sure enough, it, it jumped his truck really well. When I ordered it the second time, I ordered these cables, the Schumacher SL6610 gauge 24-inch motorcycle and power sports jump starter cable. The side of my motorcycle, I have the battery cover, and I'd have to use Allen bolt, pull it off, hook up these cables, jump it, get it started, unhook the cables, put everything back together. It was a pain. So now on one side of the motorcycle, I have my circle charger. On the other side, I have the EC5 connector hanging out. That way, I don't have to take my battery cover off anymore. This thing works great. I've never had an issue with it. Um, like I said, I've always keep in my tank bag, uh, just in case I have used it on other vehicles. Um, it, if all else fails, it usually helps get the battery up to charge. 
so it can at least jump and then run itself if you can't jump it straight off the pack. Um, like I said, I do love this thing to get left. It is one of my favorite things to always use and keep on the motorcycle with me. Um, if you have any questions about it, feel free to hit me up. Um, I answer what I can. I hope this helps some of y'all. Um, until then, catch me on the next one.